Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lab we will install the Puppet Agent and will configure Agent to get the catalog from Puppet Master. To configure the Puppet Agent nodes Puppet services must be running on Puppet Master. To check the service status run command system CTL status P star. This command will print all the services status. You can also grab the output to just get the status of all services. Like here, Puppet Enterprise Postgres SQL Database Services Puppet Enterprise Orchestration Services Puppet Enterprise Nginx for Puppet Enterprise Web Server Puppet Enterprise Puppet Server Services Puppet Enterprise Bold Services Puppet Enterprise Console Services and Puppet Enterprise Puppet DB services are running on Masternode. You can also run command Puppet Infrastructure Status. This command displays errors and alerts from P services, including the Activity, Classifier, and Back services, Puppet Server, and Puppet DB. So the command showing all services are in running state. Now let's install the Puppet Agent. You can install Puppet Enterprise Agents on Nix, Windows, and Mac OS. The master hosts a package repo used to install agents in your infrastructure. The P package management repo is created during installation of the master and serves packages over HTTPS using the same port as the master, 8140. This means agents don't require any new ports to be open other than the one they already need to communicate with the master. You can run install script to use ppackage management repo. You can customize agent installation by providing as flags to the script any number of these options like puppet.conf settings, CSR attribute, and other parameters. If you're installing an agent with a different OS than the master, add the appropriate class for the repo that contains the agent packages. To install the agent, copy the curl script and paste in your agent node. Replace the sever entry with your master server. Before running the script make sure agent nodes are able to communicate with master server. If you don't have DNS server and just doing the testing in lab then you can resolve the puppet master domain name locally from agent nodes by adding the puppet master server entry in slash etc slash hosts file. You have to add the IP address of your puppet master and the lookup name of your puppet master. Save the file and Verify the communication by pinging the Puppet Master server. When you able to ping Master successful run the installation script. This script will install and configure the Puppet Agent on Node 1. Once the script is complete, run Puppet Agent T on Node 1. This command will register the node with Puppet Master and will get the catalog from the master. When you will kick off the agent run you will get an error, exiting, no certificate found and wait for cert is disabled. The reason is, any Puppet agent connecting to a Puppet Master server for a first time will generate a certificate and give it to a Puppet Master server to sign. Depending on your Puppet configuration, a default behavior is that the certificate must be signed manually and thus Puppet Agent exits with an error. OK, we need to sign the certificate manually. You can sign the certificate from the Puppet Console Unsigned Cert option. 
or you can sign the certificate from the Puppet Master command line. To sign the certificate and to list all available option in command line, run command puppet server CA. The following actions are available as subcommands for the puppet server CA command. Clean, revoke certificates and remove related files from the CA. Generate, create a certificate signed by the CA. Import, import the CA's key, certificates, and certificate revocation lists, CRLs. List, list all certificate requests. Revoke, revoke a certificate. Setup, generate a root and intermediate signing CA for Puppet Server. Sign, sign a certificate. To list all unsigned certificates run command puppet server CA list. So we got the node1.devops.com certificate waiting to sign by puppet master. So let's sign the certificate. To sign the certificate run command puppet server CA sign hyphen hyphen cert name, node1.devops.com. You will get the message for successfully signed certificate. You can validate in Puppet Console that Node 1 certificate is no more showing an unsigned certificate list. You can also check the certificate status by running the command Puppet Server CA list A. After signing the certificate first time the server will not show in Puppet Console Nodes tab. Until you run the Puppet Agent hyphen to complete the process of registering the node to Puppet Master. So let's run the Puppet Agent hyphen T to get the system into a desired state. Alright so the Puppet run has been completed and now node1.devops.com is showing in Puppet Console Agents Inventory List. Ok, so in this section we have successfully registered the agent node to Puppet Master. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.